Guys, it is Wednesday the 15th. In theory, one more day until we're, we're all free. I'm not sure if that's still the case though. Um, we're hoping for the best. Uh, guys, today's workout is very much focused around equipment that you can use at home. Um, we literally just need two chairs for this today. And of course, um, because we've done a lot of these in advance, I'm still joined by the infamous Eugene Pena. All right, so guys, on the warm-up side today, you're gonna to move for three to five minutes. You're then gonna be doing two rounds of push-ups to down dog. Guys, it's a similar warm-up to one of the ones we've used for the upper body sessions this week, into 10 walkouts. And we're doing two rounds today, as mentioned. From there, we're into 30 second hollow hold. Guys, these hollow holds, again, pushing your lower back down into the ground. Eugene will show us a scaled version if you need to scale this down a little bit from there guys you're into 10 sit-ups butterfly sit-ups those are let's get the abs firing a little bit as well as just work through some range of motion from there into a pec stretch on the floor this is our favorite scorpion stretch where we will loosen up the lower back the front of the shoulder and the chest at the same time you can just spend 30 seconds each one there and then into our tabletop stretch guys where you get your hands up onto an object or onto the wall pressing your chest down towards the ground Perfect, thank you, Eugene. All right, so guys, um, as we mentioned before, all you're gonna need is two chairs for this workout. We're doing a 20 minute EMOM today, which is a minute at each station. We have five different stations, um, and you're gonna be doing as many repetitions as you can. But bear in mind, guys, as you work through this, is that this is 20 minutes of straight work. There isn't any rest along the way. So don't go out the gates too hot on this one. Choose a number that you think you can stick to throughout the full 20 minutes, um, and then let's get to work. All right, so guys, today, Mr. Chairman through the, through the chair. This is a 20 minute imam. Minute number one, guys, we're gonna be doing gymnastic shoot throughs. So Eugene's gonna show us what these look like. It's important to push your hips up nice and high at the front and extend as far as we can at the back. We're gonna point those toes. Guys, this is an excellent workout for the shoulders and for the core. From there, guys, we're gonna move into dips. So between your two chairs, which you'll now get slightly further apart, we're going to do dips. You can do these as a scaled version um, with the feet on the ground, but today we're gonna to demonstrate the dips with your feet up. Good. Very nice, Eugene. From there, guys, we're moving on to step ups. So this is the one break that your arms and your shoulders are gonna to get today, guys. And try and get the heart rate up a little bit more, and work those legs a little bit as well. Choose a height that you feel comfortable with um, on your chair. All right, from there into some inclined push-ups, guys. Again, either hands onto the chair or you can even use the dining room table for this. Choose a number where you work, work through about 40 seconds straight. These are slightly easier than traditional push-ups. And then guys, the last one here is trying to get, accumulate as much uh, LSAT time as you can in the last minute. Two different options for today on the LSAT, guys. Either the advanced version where we put the legs out straight or the slightly easier version where we bend the knees. Um, and if you can just hang out there for um, as much time of the minutes as you can, you've done brilliantly. All right, so guys, that is it on the, on the EMOM side today, 20 minutes of work. This is gonna be tough on a serious, serious upper body burner. Um, once you've done that, we are gonna finish with a little bit of handstand work. The shoulders, as I mentioned before, are gonna be really warm. Um, so we've got a couple of options and we'll, we'll post another video after this just to make sure that you know what those options are on the handstand work. Practice them, practice kicking up onto the wall, practice some freestanding stuff, some headstand work, um, some shoulder taps, um, but we're gonna give you all of those in the next video. Uh, well done today, guys. In theory, it's freedom tomorrow or last day tomorrow, and then one more day of freedom. Um, we'll check you then. Keep at it.